When you use Divi and WooCommerce, there are endless combinations of how you can design your page and what elements you can add on your page. For example, here I was able to build this main hero area here, but on the bottom here, you notice that we have this image here. Now, this is not just any general image. This is a product that I created in WooCommerce. And as you can see here, it has the price. We can also add the amount of the products here and also click add to cart. And this can be added on any page on your Divi website. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you step-by-step step how I was able to create this quick layout and also add a product on our page here using Divi and WooCommerce. Now, before we get started, I'd like to remind you that if you buy Divi using my affiliate link, which is in the video description below, I will give you access to my web design formula course, a course that teaches you how to design professional looking websites with Divi. All right, guys, let's get started. All right, so the first thing we need to do is to create a product on our website. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to come all the way down to products, click on add new. So let's just call this product diet plan. I'm going to give it a description here and I'm also going to give it a price. I'm going to say 99 and we're also going to give this a short description. Okay, so we're almost there. So this is our main product. Finally, I need to add my image. So I'm going to come over here to set product image. And the product image I'm going to use for this diet plan is this image right here. Set product image. And then I'm going to publish this. Great. So I have my product. The next step now is to create my page. So I'm going to come over here to pages. Click on add new. So this can be called any page. Use Diffie Builder. Okay, so now we can start our design. We can start this from a pre-made layout or we can build our layout from scratch. So to um, make this unique to us, we're going to build this from scratch. So I'm going to come over here and I am going to start with a new speciality section. And I'm going to go with this layout right here. Okay, so now that I have this, I'm just going to delete this from the top here. Let me start by adding a video here on the side. There we go. And I'm going to add my image overlay. So the image overlay I am going to use is, let's go with this one right here. Upload an image. So as I'm looking at this, you can see this play button is way too big. Let's reduce that by coming over here to design. Play icon. And then I'm going to click on use custom icon font size. And then I'm going to reduce this to about 40 and save. Okay, great. That's my video there. I'm going to add more content here. So let's add a single column. And in that, we're going to add some text. There we go. I'm just going to replace this with my dummy text. And then I'm going to make this text here a heading. So I'm going to come over here. Set this to, say, heading 2. And now I'm going to go into my design and start customizing my text. So first of all, I'd like to center it. So I'm going to come over here, center my text. And then I can go in and further customize this. So this is going to be Poppins. I'm going to set this to bold. I'm also going to go into my text here. Set this to Poppins as well. But of course, you can use any font you want to use. Now, let me increase the size a little bit. And the line height. I'm going to save that. And I'm also going to add a call to action button here. So I'm going to search for my button module. Okay, so I'm going to say find out more. And then I can further customize this by first of all centering it. And then I'm going to come over here to button and activate used custom styles for button. So this is where I can further customize my button here by adding a bit of color to it. So I'm going to give this background color. Okay, let's go with this one. And then I'm also going to add this as my border color. And then finally, I'm going to change my font here to Poppins. And then save. So I am going to further customize this by adding more sections. So I'm going to go with a regular section this time. I'm going to go with two columns. And in this left column here, I am going to uh, add some text. I'm going to replace my text here with my dummy text. Then I'm also going to go in and customize this. So change my font here to Poppins. Increase the size. 
increase the line height. And then I'm going to save that. Over here on the right is where we're going to start adding our e-commerce stuff. So I'm going to search for Woo. And I'm going to start here with my Woo images. So this is showing the latest product. But I can specifically go in and choose it right here. So I'm going to go with diet plan. So that's my image there. I'm going to save that. Next, I need a description. So I'm going to search for Woo description. I'm going to choose my product and it's diet plan. And then I'm going to come over here to my design. Click on this paintbrush icon and change my font here to Poppins. There we go. I'm going to change the color. Increase the size just a little bit. And then save. Next, I'm also going to add my Add to Cart button. So I'm going to choose my diet plan here is the product. Now let's customize the button here. Make it look nicer. So I'm going to go in and activate Use Custom Styles for Button. And I'm going to start adding the details. Okay, so I'm going to choose my font. And just to keep everything consistent, I'm going to set this to Poppins. Okay, so that's looking great. I'm going to save that. Now, I may also want to add the price here. So I'm going to click on this plus button. Search for my Woo price. There we go. I'm going to select that. I'm going to choose my diet plan. And then I'm going to come over here to design. Price text. Change this to Poppins. I'm going to change this to bold. I'm also going to increase the size a little bit. Let's go with 34. And then my colors. And then save. Okay, so that is looking really nice. I like um, that I've added this to my design. So all I have to do now for this to really stand out is to come over here to my row settings. And I'm going to go into the second column and add a background. Okay, so I'm going to add this as my background color. And I may want to um, just reduce this a little bit like that. And then I'm going to come over here to design spacing. And I'm just going to add some padding around it. So I'm going to go with 4% all around like that. So this is highlighting my products on my page here. So I'm going to save that. Save one more time. And now I can add all my content around my design here. So this is my main uh, main landing page. And then as we add more content on our page, I also have my product here, which I can buy from this page. So as you can see, we're finally able to um, add our design here as we normally do with Divi. But we are also able to add our product here, which we can add to cart right away on any page on our website using Divi and WooCommerce. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell notification. By doing so, you'll be notified when I release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.